Hello serverless people, Enrico here. In this video, I want to show you how to create an SFTP server managed by AWS using AWS Transfer Family. This video is a bit different from the others as I'm showing a service which is not serverless by nature, but it can help you in different use cases when your customers ask you to set up an SFTP server for them. If you want to see other similar content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I publish a new video every Thursday. So from the AWS Transfer Family page, we can see that the service offers a fully managed SFTP, FTPS and FTP service, which lets you transfer file into and out an Amazon S3 bucket or an Amazon EFS, which is the Elastic File System. The um, final architecture is going to look like this one. So we're going to have a user who's going to log in into the SFTP server using username and private key. We're going to add the public key on our SFTP server and the SFTP server is backed by an S3 bucket, which is going to stay private for security reason. The SFTP server will use an IAM role to access the S3 bucket so we can uh, configure different uh, roles in order to let the user just read the files or just upload the files or both of them, depending on the use case. So now I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial from the S3 bucket creation to the SFTP server creation. So we go on the Amazon S3 menu, we go on the create bucket, and I'm going to call you, I'm going to call the bucket my SFTP uh, example Enrico bucket. I'm going to put it in London. Since I'm in London and I'm going to leave everything the default so block all public access and yeah, all the options are default ones. Now I'm going to go into the, um, into the bucket I've just created and I want to create, sorry, I want to create uh, some folder like restricted folder. So we're going to use this folder to show you how to use uh, IAM policy to restrict a user to only be able to see this folder. And here I'm going to do like another public folder here where everyone can join. Everyone can see the file, sorry. So now, now that we have the S3 bucket, we go on the transfer family service, which is a transfer family. We go here and we click on create server. So here we choose the protocol for this example, I'm going to use SFTP server. We choose an identity provider. So in this case, we're going to use service managed. Basically the users will be managed uh, by the service. Here you can use a uh, AWS direct service, which is um, the other option are uh, AWS direct service, which is like you use another managed uh, admin service or use a custom uh, provider. I'm going to stick with the service managed and I want the SFTP server to be public accessible. So I'm not, uh, I'm not using the VPC hosted option as a custom uh, host name for now. I'm going to keep, uh, the default one on the custom host name option you can change and use like a root 53 uh, dns or another dns service let's say using namecheap as your dns provider you can set the record here so i'm gonna stick with this uh, domain i want to use an s3 bucket as the domain of the uh, SATP server in this step i need to create a new role in order to the to let the SAT server create logs into CloudWatch and then I'm going to leave everything default. So next here's like a summary and I'm going to click create server. So it should take like just a couple of minutes. In the meantime, I can, you can see the state is starting, but I can already join and see what uh, the server looks like. So we should see the domain somewhere. Yeah. So the endpoint is this one, as I told you, you can Depend on the type of end endpoint you want to configure. In this case, I'm going to use the default one, but you can use a custom host name. So now we only have the SFTP server running with the S3 bucket as a uh, as the source. Let's say what we want to do though is to access the SFTP server using some user. In order to add a user, you have to go here on the menu users, and you can click add users. And here I'm going to call it like uh, Enrico default we need to configure a role in order to the uh, user to be able to read from s3 so we have the server running but we need users in order to be able to log in so we're gonna add user from here 
we're gonna call it like Enrico default user. And the next step is we need to create a role. So this role is needed, as you can see, for uh, Amazon S3 access. So I don't have a role right now, so I'm gonna need to uh, create a role and a policy as well. So I'm going to the IM, IM management console. So from the IM role menu, I need to select the transfer um, service. Then I'm going to permission and I need to create a policy. So the policy is something that I did before. So I'm going to choose a service. Actually, I'm going to paste a JSON file since I have it. So there are two actions needed, the list packet action and the get back the location. So the SFTP server can find the packet name inside my, um, inside my AWS profile. In this case, the uh, S3 server is my SFTP example in Rico. And then the next action is to allow the read write S3. So it's put object, get object, delete object, and all the uh, version as well. In this case, I need to do it for all the files inside the S3 bucket. So next one is tags, review, and I'm going to create a SFTP uh, read uh, write policy. And I'm going to copy and paste in the description. I'm going to create the policy, and now I'm going to associate the policy to the role. Okay, so the policy has been created here. I can do uh, customer managed and then search. And we have the policy here. So I'm going to associate the policy. Next review. Role name is SFTP access S3. I'm going to hit create role. And now I can go back to the menu on the AWS transfer. Hit the refresh button a few times. So we are sure we have it. Here I'm gonna do SFTP. Okay, we have it, cool. So this is the role that uh, the SFTP server will use in order to access S3 for us. And then here we can decide to create a home directory, which is which means when I log in into the SFTP server, this is the first directory that I see. And if, we ask, if I select my um, S3 bucket, I can use the, um, I can actually go on the S3 and use the restricted folder if I want to um, restrict the SFTP server to only show this folder. So if I do like this, I can remove the trailing slash and I can hit restricted. In this case, the user that is going to log in into the SFTP server will log in into the bucket and then on the restricted folder. And here I am selecting restricted, so it's not possible for the user to do something like navigate back and go to public folder. In this case, the user that we have configured can only access the files inside this bucket within this directory. So restricted, I'm gonna hit on the policy auto-generated based on the home folder. And here I show you the um, AWS is showing you the policy created. So it's like based on, on your home bucket, which is going to get from the one we configured and it's going to use home folder and home folder has the value and it's basically allow you to put object at object only on the home directory that we have selected. Here you can add the SSH public keys. I'm going to do that later and then I'm going to click add user. Okay. Okay. The user has been created. So now we have the SFTP server running, we have the user configured and let's add also an extra layer of security by adding an SSH public key on the user. So only users with the uh, private key that uh, relates to this SSH public key can log in into the server. So we have to create the public and private key couple and we're going to do it with the, um, so first time this directory, okay, and then I'm going to use this um, SSH keygen minus the RSA. So here I need to tell him where I want my keys to be saved. And I'm going to use the folder slash the name of the key. So I'm going to use SFTP, no passphrase. And here I have the, um, I have the keys. Okay. So SFTP is the private key. SFTP pub is the uh, public key. So if I do a cut on the pub one, I should, okay. Yes need to add this key into the um, public key here. So let's do that. 
SSH add key. And now I have I have associated my public key with my private key. Next step is to use like uh, any SFTP client program. I'm going to use the uh, Cyberduck in order to log in into the server. So first thing we need the uh, server URL. So the server endpoint is this one. And from here we need to add a new connection. So open connection a server it's gonna be this one and it's gonna be a sftp protocol so okay server this one port is 22 U username is uh, the name of the user so enrico default and then we need to specify the private key so we need to choose it here users uh let me find this private key okay it's here sftp private key then if i click connect it should connect to the sftp server if everything is in order allow let's see authenticating yes i am into the s3 bucket i added a file before the demo so the file is show you is this one Doge memo and you can see the file here. I can start the SFTP connection and download the file as well. Continue. Okay, all kind of permissions and I have the file saved. Let's see if it worked. Yes. So if I go here, actually downloads and I have it. Perfect. So the connection was uh, worked. What I want to show you is that the as you can see, I don't see any other, so I can go like backwards. Uh, the only folder that I see is this one, the root folder. I can't go on the um, main folder of, of the S3 bucket because I restricted the access to the IAM user. So it's only seeing the uh, content inside the restricted folder. And that's all. We have created an SFTP server in less than 10 minutes with uh, a user authenticated with a public and private key and we were able to restrict the uh, permission also to a uh, folder. Let me know if you use this uh, AWS Transfer Family service before, if you have any questions or comments, or if you want to see another use case with this service or any other AWS service that you may want to use in the future.